Welcome to my team. My name's Marge. I'm a yoga. I'm a wise clown. I'm an empath. I'm an intuitive. I'm a psychic. I'm a big old goofball. Big old ball of goof. I love music. I love pop culture. I love finding patterns in things and helping people find patterns in themselves. Because all we are, we're just spiritual beings having a human experience. For a lot of us, it's very, very, very uncomfortable. I've always just done what I wanted, said what I wanted, you know. I found out at a very early age that people aren't listening to me anyway. <laughs> now, I am always, for the most part, I, so I should not say always, I am mindful of not being mean to people because I've had so many people be mean to me in my life. I don't like the way it feels, so I'm not going to put that on another person. Yeah. Yeah, and when I come across other people that are doing the same, that are being mean to bullying other people, I am sure to interject. And I don't have to do it in a confrontational way. That is what is so cool. All you have to do is just ask why, inquire. Why is your reason for being an antagonist? I understand why people would do it, but what is yours specifically? <sighs> the only thing is, is some people are so disheveled inside is that they just react and a lot of people are reacting in very, very unorthodox and violent ways. Yeah. So be careful. Who? <laughs> you inquire as to why the behavior there lie rests. Yeah. Just be careful. <laughs> Watch your asses, yo! Don't be dumb, yo! <laughs> anyway. Security is paramount in this day and age. <coughs> it doesn't matter what part of the world you live in what country, what region, everyone is having their dissidence. So what happens is you gotta shake, shake, shake your yayas out, you know, your dissidence. All that dissidence is, the way I see it at all is, is you have an idea of how you life, you want your life to be and how your life is and how close they are in proximity. There's your range of dissidence. Right? So if you're living your life that you want to live and your life that the universe wants you to live in, you're just going to kind of flow. <sighs> flow through life, right? Your life, divine, God, whatever you want to call your higher power as long as you have one because you can't freaking make it in, in the world today. Even if your higher power is your family, whatever it is, find something outside of yourself that you can plug into to draw on for strength. When you can't seem to muster up your own. So, right. So, a long time. So, what got me here <laughs> is I wanted an I, I had an idea of how my life is. And then universe had an idea of how my life is going to be. And it's been like this. So, it's created this dissonance, right? But in between here, I've had a chance to learn how to meditate proper. To take care of me and love me and become my own best friend. Because when you rely and go within... To learn how to self-soothe, you don't need anybody else in the world. Everybody else is extra, is bonus, but you do not require them to complete you. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. There's a lot of power in that. How many people do you know that, you know, it's like, I know a lot of people that have been just freaking, they try so hard just to do the right thing. and But there's this other storyline that plays that they don't want to do the right thing. They don't want to do what's right for everybody. They just want to do what's right for them. And there are so many of those people in family units too. So I'm seeing a, 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 a future where, and, and a present where people, kids of you know kids I say kids I'm 30s you know 20 they don't want to get married and have children would you I would not want to bring a child into this world as it is until they start sorting themselves out think about it you're a peaceful person <coughs> your needs are met you know that the universe is gonna take care of you even though the fear crops in every now and again because we're human beings. We can't have, ain't nobody, I don't, I don't want to nobody, don't know, I don't want to know people 
that don't have fear in them because it's fear that kind of high fives the taps out with ego to keep us safe yeah so synchronicity I just thought about this song yesterday and I haven't heard it in a while <coughs> gone till November the refugees all stars um always give credit where credit's due anyway and my whole train of thought derailed on that so oh think about it if you calm yourself inside right and you go into a stressful situation right and people are freaking freaking out you know whether it's a natural disaster a man-made disaster it don't matter if it's a car accident it don't matter if you go into a situation and people have their People have an idea how life is, and if you break down those constructs, it could shatter their whole reality. And I have not been, I guess, uh, very sympathetic to that. Yeah, because my reality was shattered. I, my, I never lived in the reality of the rest of the world. Because I tried it to interject, and now they're just like, nope, you're not welcome. And I mean that because I just, I tried so hard to get a job and seek employment, and I just, I don't know how it's weird so I know but I, I because I know astrology I know it's gonna change soon I know it is I mean <laughs> who is gonna keep denying this little brown girl I mean the world isn't gonna do that all I want is for people to recognize and to live the existence that we are all just shades different shades of the same color spectrum we all vibe we are all are good and we are all evil. It's which wolf do you feed? The black or the white wolf? Which wolf are you feeding? Coyote, wolf, whichever. The dark or the light. You know, and there's a lot of readers, astrologers. I don't want to do the doom and gloom and, you know. Predictions are iffy. I don't, I look at predictions as how I see the world. And if they line up into, you know, if my ideology lines up with the course of the action of the world, see, I see the world how it could have been before 1776 and D.C. was established. If the white man came over and cooperated with my ancestors instead of controlled and killed and fucking massacred and all of those gross things. And you think about it, that was only like five generations ago. And if you think about, you know, the family business, there's still people in power that are related to those people because, you know, the the white privilege of getting, you know, your seat and keeping it for 30, 40 years. Yeah, there's a lot to be that. I mean, there's wor these words exist because this stuff exists. I never had freaking privilege of anything. Like, I'm a female that has brown skin. Mom was adopted, found out. We are Native American. We're more Spanish. 33%. 31 Native American. The science is there. The proof is there. Anyway. <coughs> um, my train of thought derailed again. Man. I have a big day, so I'm really trying to be present. Evidently, I'm not doing a very good job. <coughs> oh, yeah. So all this bad karma that has been collected... It's being repaid. Thanks, Trump. Thanks for that. Yeah, always give her credit where credit's due. Now, I'm not going to be hanging out with the guy and, you know, be BFFs and stuff, you know. But I recognize what he's doing. We don't need a federal government anyway. Everything that the federal government does can be have handled at the local level. And if you think, think about it. All of the money that wouldn't be spent on wars if the feds just went away. But no, no, can't have that. No, can't have, can't break down any ideology. No, just, you know, just keep freaking working, killing yourselves to freaking pay taxes. But taxes aren't even real, dude. And I'm the one that has a skewed perception? I think that's funny. People have told me that my whole life. You have a perception problem. No, I perceive things how I perceive things. You have a problem with how I perceive things. Yeah, let's be accurate here. Let's speak 
in factual terms. Yeah. So, a lot of people have a problem with my perception. But it's so funny because y you'd be amazed how often I hear, Marge, you're so right. So, who has a perception problem? Hmm. Ask yourself. I'm not asking. I know what I know. You know what you know. Sometimes we need to know the same stuff, but most of the time, you know. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to because we're all connected. We're all connected. So anytime you're angry, I tap into when I was angry. You know, so I can relate to you because the connection is in the relation. You don't got to be related. You don't have to be the same skin color. Just freaking, dude, there's so many people that have listened to their to what they're told for so long and what they're seeing is, is what they're told and the reality when the walls come tumbling down. <laughs> he keeps that calling for a wall and people don't even see that they're just all tumbling down all over the place and these people are freaking like, uh, I see all these government officials like Newman on Jurassic Park, the original, when he's stuck on the toilet, you know. That's what happened is like you guys, you guys were marauders and you stole and were shady and shysters and you were, you, you hid behind all these po politicians hid behind manners, like, you know, because, p and, but what you don't understand is, is you put people in a position where they're, they're scared, hungry, lonely, tired, distraught, you know, you take their utilities away, you do these things, yeah, you're gonna get fucking chewed out, yeah, you are, and if that offends you, maybe you shouldn't have cut people off to begin with, because you have no idea what it's like with your $194,000 wage, wage that you make annually. Probably tax-free. There's loops and holes. Because, you know, if there's not a rule that, that, that puts you in advantage, you'll just create one. Yeah. So, anyway, I think, about, I think that's about all I got for today. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.